So we're going to take a look real quick at the new Test Explorer and Test Infrastructure in Visual Studio 2012, specifically around JavaScript testing with Jasmine and or QUnit. We're going to look at Jasmine's uh, today. Um, what I've got over here is the Test Explorer window right below Solution Explorer, and I've got an empty ASP.NET uh, project real quick. Uh, you'll find uh, an adapter for the Test Explorer and test infrastructure that helps discover and execute JavaScript tests, uh, as well as a number of other adapters in tools, extensions, and updates. Uh, I've got Hutzpah test adapter here, but I want to show you what this looks like. So I went over to online and I'm going to search for Hutzpah. And you could also search for test adapter or tests or something along that line, and it'll show all the different ones that are available. But there's actually two. A JavaScript test runner is what was available in 2010, and it's kind of outside of the infrastructure. It does its own thing. Uh, it's a handful of right-click menus and, and, and uh, commands that you can run, and those send output to the output folder. Uh, but they don't kind of sit inside and allow you to have your tests for JavaScript sit side-by-side -side with compiled tests and just get a full list uh, of, of of test results for your solution or what have you. So you'll want to install the test adapter or of course the, the test runner. Both of them are, are very cool. So now over in my solution explorer, I'm going to add a quick folder here. Just going to put my uh, tests inside of a folder called tests and I want to add Jasmine. Uh, so Hutzpah doesn't come with Jasmine embedded in it. So we're going to add an existing item. And I went over here and Jasmine normally comes with a couple of things. It'll come with a spec runner uh, and some sample source and specs, uh, but then it's got this lib folder and inside of that you'll find a handful of things for the output. We don't need the spec runner. We're not going to run these in a browser. We're going to run these headless. So they're going to run inside of Visual Studio without a browser. Uh, so we just need jasmine.js, which, which will run our tests. And so I've added that in here and now I'm going to add a test file, another JavaScript file. And we're just going to call this math tests, all right, and we need to tell this, tell Hutzpah that, that one of the things this math test needs is Jasmine, and so we're going to use the reference syntax. We'll let Visual Studio complete that for us, and then we'll describe our simple scenario, which is math.add, and it's going to be able to add to numbers. And we'll say var result equals new math dot, dot add uh, two and three. And then we'll use the assertion library, expect uh, result to be five. And if we save that, notice down here it's failing already. Real quick, got a res uh, uh, quick feedback on, on the test that we have and that it's failing. And that's just because math doesn't exist. So let's add a file. In here, I'm going to do that at the root, and we're going to call it math. Now, the problem here is going to be that, like Jasmine, we need to tell Hutzpah what other file to load. And so we're going to say reference equals dot dot slash math. All right. And in here, we're going to describe or we're going to create our, our implementation. So we'll use the reveal pattern bar math equals function. And then we'll create a function add left, right, return left plus right. And then we'll reveal it, return add, add. And there we go. Oop, and we need to save this guy. And so immediately it started to pass. Now, if we did something silly, like said two plus three equals 15 and save that file, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll fail. Now the reason that it's giving me this quick feedback loop and I don't have to do anything is because I've turned on run tests after build. If I turn that off, and let's say I fix this, nothing happens over here. I actually have to manually run it. Well, that's no good. We want to run tests all the time. But it'll depend on uh, on your scenario. If you have a lot of tests or, or a significant number of tests that you don't want to run, you can isolate and do whatever you need. And that's how, the, uh, how you can integrate Jasmine in, uh, inside of Test Explorer in a continuous test.